welcome to this training session where I will be sharing with you how do you get a job with the UN, NGOs, and international organizations. Now, I am guessing for a lot of you, this is probably not the first seminar or training that you have attended. The first thing I want to mention is that, number one, if you have failed to earn more money in the past, it is not your fault. Yeah? There's a lot of information out there. And that information can be confusing. And many a times that information overload is what is keeping you from being successful. And it's okay if you have been concerned in the past that you just can't succeed in employment. I want to put those fears to rest. You just need the right person to explain it to you. And that is why I am here to explain it to you. On the other hand, the society has perpetuated the message that you need to be an entrepreneur for you to be successful. As a matter of fact, many people are better off as employees because that is where they get the high satisfaction and higher productivity. The big corporations, on the other hand, and the education system plus the government wants you to think that you need some fancy college degree for you to be successful. I'm here to tell you that they are wrong. They have their own reasons for wanting you to think that, but it is not true. If you have ever thought that the government and the education system wants you to fail, you are probably right. They do not benefit from you succeeding. They want to keep you in debt and in need. The difference with us is that we actually care about your success and truly wants to see you living the life of your dreams. So that is what we are here for. I know you have that dream job that will give you the high satisfaction and utilize your full potential. I want to show you how to make that happen during this training session. And I want to pause here and ask you, are you ready? If you're ready, drop that in the chat and say, yes, you are ready. Thank you very much. I can see there's someone already joining us in Brazil Say, yeah, paradise on the rise and they're ready to go. This is good. This is good. Are you ready? If you're ready, drop that in the chat and say, you're ready. Good job. Keep it up. Watching in Nairobi. Thank you very much. Are you ready? I can see also Lawrence on LinkedIn following through and saying, yes, they need a job in finance and they are ready. I can see someone else saying, yeah, yes, I'm ready. Are you ready for this training session? Are you ready? Drop that in the chat. I know there might be a slight delay because of uh, the network, but here they go. Tapida Dunga, thank you very much. I can see you saying you're ready. Mohammed also is ready. Betty is saying ready. Agnes is saying ready. Nyawera. Kiama, you say you're ready. Evelyn, ready? Oh, this is good. And we are ready to go. Let me do that. Now, I want you to imagine this. You attending an interview, and at the end of the interview, the hiring manager tells you the three magic words everybody wants to hear, that you are hired. You come, work in that month. At the end of the month, you get a pay slip like this. This is in Kenya shillings. Imagine your basic salary being 180,000 Kenya shillings. If you're uh, just to make it easy for you, divide it by 100 to make it 1,000. 800 US dollars, then you can convert it to your currency. Your house allowance is 50,000 Kenya shillings, medical allowance 25,000, commuting allowance 15,000. At the end of the day, you're taking 270,000 Kenya shillings or 2,700 US dollars per month taking off. How would that make you feel? And so I also want to know in a word or two, drop this in the chat. What does a six figure salary mean to you? Oh, okay. I can see someone talking here about financial freedom. Thank you very much, Mohammed. I can see Steven. Oh, you're saying you're ready. And as they come in, I also want to mention this, right? When I was planning this training, I was trying to get to help two types of people. Number one, a professional who is out there and they want to get a job with NGOs, the UN and international organizations. If that is you, you are in the right place. And the second kind of person I really wanted to help is someone who with or without a degree, they are feeling stuck in their career. If that is you, you are in the right place. If you don't fall in any of this category, I think this is the place I will invite you to live because you might not get value out of this session. But if you fall in any of these two uh, categories, I would say then you are in the right place. So let me see what people are saying here. Oh, Abdelatif, it's about investment, you yeah, are investment option and financial freedom. Irene Jambi, you're talking about stability. Oh, this is super great. Uh, Self-sufficiency, that is Nyawera Kiama. Thank you very much. And I can see more and more uh, coming in. 
So let's proceed. My goal is to share with you the only way to get these jobs with the NGOs, UN and international organization is by acquiring what I call the Badass Pro skills. And the only place you can get these Badass Pro skills is through a program called the Badass Pro. I'll talk a little bit more about that as we proceed. For those of you who are seeing me for the very first time, I think it is important for me to introduce myself. My name is Daniel Mutuku. I'm the founder of Career Point Solutions. And over the last 12 years, I've been blessed to be in this field of recruitment and also working as a career and leadership coach. I am a certified digital marketer by Google. And among other groups, I'm a very proud member of the League of Young Professionals, also known as LYP. On top of that, I'm an author of several books. The first one was Facebook for Profit, how you can easily use Facebook for profit. I then published the second book, which is Blueprint for Success, Guaranteed Steps to Achieving Anything. These two books are out there for free. You can get them, conquer the year ahead, make the next 12 months your best year ever. I also published um the ultimate cover letter guide 101 sample cover letters that you can use to apply for any position in any profession you can be able to get that for free and i am also the host of the youtube channel daniel mutuku career coach with over 130,000 subscribers so far you can see over 480 videos that will teach you all these things that you need to know when it comes to job search, positioning. So I would ask you, go to YouTube, just search my name, subscribe to the channel, and you'll be able to get tons and tons of value. Two questions to you as I start. The first question is, will you let me be your coach? For the next one hour or so, are you giving me permission to be your coach, to be your guide? If so, say yes in the chat. I'm waiting to see you giving me permission to be your coach. And the second question I want to ask, will you allow me to tell you the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear. If so, say yes in the chat. Or even you can say yes, yes. You can say two yeses, confirming that you're giving me permission, number one, to be your coach and also to be tell you the hard truth. Thank you very much. I can see the yes coming in. Betty say yes. I can see yes from Michael. I can see yes from Vincent. I can see yes from uh, Mohammed. I can see yes from Faith. Tap it and don't get yes. If you're saying yes to the both questions, yes, you want me to be your coach and your mentor for the next one hour or so. And also, if you want me to be your coach for the, uh, uh, to tell you the truth, the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear. I can see Janet there saying yes, yes. I can see, who is that? Agnes saying yes times two. I can see the yes is coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're you also say yes, yes. Oh, I like that. Kathy, you go ahead and say yes. Coach, tell me the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear. This person is going places and they're telling me yes, yes to both questions. I really like Virginia Karanja. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So let me get to it and start telling you the truth. Now, to give you an idea of where I'm coming from so that you can really appreciate that this thing is uh, workable. I started my job search back in 2009. This is after clearing my schooling. And it took me about one year to be able to secure my first real job. According to the Bureau of Statistics, it takes about three to five years for a fresh graduate, someone straight from college, to be able to secure their first job. And to me, that one year felt like forever. And I really empathize with those people who stay three, four, five years without a job. It's not really easy. Something interesting after I got my first real job. Over the next year, I got about over 10 interviews, almost an interview every month. But the bad news is that I was not securing these jobs. And I asked myself, what is it that I'm doing wrong? And I started going back and I would say I needed to get this job that came in 2011. I said, I must seize this moment. This is my dream job. I've been messing up over the last 10 interviews. I really need to get this right. And when I started interrogating what I was doing wrong is I can uh, look back and say, probably this is where this badass pro skills really started. How does it work? Um, currently, you apply for as many jobs as possible. If you're lucky, you're invited for an interview. If the interviewers like you, they give you that job. And it might not be your dream job, but you still take it because you don't have a job. But with badass pro skills, these are tried and tested techniques that will give you predictable results. Like you're sure you do this, this will actually happen. Take a look at some of these uh, emails I got. This is Alexander who told me, thank you. I attended a career presentation last time. This Monday, I was interviewed for the position of liaison officer Kenya Airways. And Wednesday this week, I got the job. Yeah, it worked for him. It also worked for me. And 
that is just to show you that that is the truth now before i get into the secret i have two secrets that i want to share with you number one how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates and secret number two how to negotiate a six-figure salary assuming we don't have enough time for both secrets which one would you really really want to know assuming we only have time for one i want you to drop in the chat either one or two one two one two imagine we don't have time for both secrets we only have time for one which one would you really really want to know is it number one how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates or would it be how to negotiate a six-figure salary let me know in the chat i like playing this game so that i can know which one is more popular and which one would you really want to know just drop either one or a two one or a two agnes you go for one i can see Evelyn goes for one there's mandela kevin goes for one uh betty you go for one tabitha dunge you go for one okay number one seem to be very popular faith number one i can see Mohammed number one jambi i read you're saying number one i can see felix oh i saw a two somewhere yeah there we go that is uh, abdi latif at least we got a two yeah there's also Michael, I saw a two here. Ah, good, good, good stuff. But the good news is that we have time for both secrets, so not to worry. Let's start with number one, as much as it's the most popular, and we are starting it with it. How do you triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates? Let me give you a scenario here. Yeah, this is true life story. Before I got that job in 2011, I was working back in CIA as a computer tutor through the Computer for Schools project. I came for an interview here in Nairobi for that dream job that I wanted. It was an international school. They were looking for a, a computer tutor to take the student through the IGCSE exam. After that interview, I was so sure that I was going to get that job. But and, uh, the next day, I traveled back to CIM, and it was a Saturday mid-morning there around 10, 11-ish. I received a call, and it was the lady who was with me and she told me thank you very much for coming in for the interview we are happy to inform you that we are offering you the job i was so happy almost jumping in the middle of the road out of excitement like this is my dream job come true but then that afternoon something a little bit depressing happened because i received a call from the same same lady but this time around she was telling me that they are withdrawing the job offer i got confused and i asked why is it that you're withdrawing the job offer she said that we were looking for someone to start uh, to be a teacher in a new campus that we have. And we needed someone with experience teaching in an international school and taking students through the IECC exam. And I was like, oh my God, I don't have that experience. But wait a minute, I was able to be the best interviewee and actually triumph over all these other candidates who are the experience who are teaching in international school. And so how was I able to do that? I'll tell you this. The moment you get into that interviewing room, you have three seconds. And within the first three seconds, you should be able to show them that number one, you are as sharp as a tap, mentally acute, clever, intelligent. You have your eyes on the ball. Number two, you should be able to show them that you are as enthusiastic as hell, showing and having great excitement and interest in that organization, in that role, in that specific job that you are applying for. This should come straight off the bat. Like the third thing, you should be able to show them that you are an expert. You are knowledgeable. You have the skills in that area. These three things should come straight off the bat within the first three seconds. You might be asking, how do I do that? Here's the good news. This is a learnable skill. I have learned it. I have used it a lot. I have taught it to other people, and they have learned how to use the same same skills. Here's an example. Look at this email I got from Brian saying, Dear Daniel, I'm grateful for your service and would like to give you feedback. The CV helped me get five interviews, three finance assistant position and two finance officer position. Lucky enough, I managed to secure finance officer job, which I'm starting in January. You can see he used it. He got it. Chep Kuroi saying, hey, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Thank you for always sharing how to answer questions in an interview. In the beginning of this year, I secured a job that I have been dreaming to be a registry officer. Now I am one. Thank you. And be blessed you can see that kind of uh here we go another one so janet very happy customer oh this is jane saying thank you guys for always writing uh, for writing my cv in a professional way i secured myself a job within a few months i'm happy for the results my current employer was so pleased by my cv in such a way i cannot explain 
I went for four interviews and still emerged the best. Thank you, guys. You can see the kind of value you're able to get when you get uh, this kind of expertise and experience. Probably these are kind of questions that you have at the back of your head, right? How long does it take? I'll tell you this. This is a job market. You are paid for being valuable as an individual. It takes time to build that value. Unfortunately, you're not paid for the time, but you're paid for the value. How do I convince the management that I'm due for promotion? I can take up more responsibilities. I am the right candidate. That is actually the wrong question. Convincing the management is very difficult. Even you changing your own mind is very hard, but I can teach you how you can influence the management because that is the right skill that you need to have. And it is learnable. Do I need to quit my job? Yeah, sometimes you have to quit your job for you to get to the next level, but sometimes you don't even need to quit your job. The opportunities are right where you are and we can be able to see how best you can take advantage of that is it possible for me now when someone asks this i say yes it's very much possible you saw it worked for me it worked for alexander it worked for who else that was jed chapkurui brian and so many other people and so it is very much possible for you so i want you to say this I want to say this personally, that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced. And I want you to repeat this after me. Let me try to pull you a little bit closer here. Yeah, so that I can see you straight into your eyes. By the way, if you can say it out loud, please go ahead, say it out loud. If not, you can just say it quietly, but with a lot of conviction, and we can say it together, that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more experienced and more qualified and experienced. Yes, it is very much possible. Is that okay? Uh, okay, before I go to the secret here, yeah? Before I go to the second secret, I want to know, how are you feeling so far? Are you getting to see value from this session? Are you feeling inspired? Are you feeling motivated? Are you feeling fired up? Are you feeling, are you learning something? Drop in the chat, just a word or two, just describing how you're feeling. This is just to confirm that it was not a waste of time that you have joined us this evening, yeah? And also, I can be able to uh, know where we are at i am checking up on you let me know in the chat how are you feeling so far are you feeling excited are you feeling inspired are you feeling motivated are you feeling fired up are you feeling like oh this is a mind blown or whatever let me know in the chat yeah so that i don't leave you behind this is not just a one side presentation this is a way that we are communicating so that you can get the most michael you're saying you're feeling all fired up there's somebody is saying excited or oh, so far so good agnes thank you very much yes uh feeling motivated and fired up i believe it is possible to triumph against all odds thank you very much someone is saying i'm inspired the way you're saying oh motivated and inspired thank you very much tabby that motivated i can see daniel is my first time and i can see i can go on oh this is good this is good tap it up. there we go betty i have seen that great Oh, Felix, you're feeling motivated. Oh, Consolata, uh, yes, motivated and fired up. So good, so good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think this is just to validate that you are in the right place. Yeah, going places, you're also feeling motivated. Yeah, uh, super excited. I think I saw that from Mohammed. Okay, anyway, uh, really needed, uh, ready for the challenge. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lydia. Uh, whoo. I can't read all of them. I think they're coming. I'm feeling uh, just um, this is the stepping stone for my next level. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Let's move on. Let's move on. I want to take you to secret number two. How do you negotiate a six-figure salary? Yeah. When I was doing my research for this session, I came across this study that was done by Jobby, and they stated that 48% of salary negotiations always result to a higher pay. And I was like, oh my God, this is good. Chances of you getting that higher salary is very high, 84% if you try. But then the next piece of statistic was a bit depressing because they said only 14% of employees actually try to negotiate their salary in their current job. Why is that so? 14%. People always wait when they are going to interview outside in another organization for them to negotiate. But then let me know in the chat, yeah? Just drop a yes or no. Have you ever tried to negotiate salary in your current job? Say yes or no. Now, if the answer is yes, I want you to add something and say, was it good or bad? Positive or negative? Ah, uh, you can see already. I think it is already validated. 
I can see already no from Christine. Betty saying no. Edith saying no. Mle saying no. I can see Daniel Gitao saying no. Mohammed saying no. Janet Joki saying no. So it's oh, and here it is. Uh, where is it? Before I lose it, Abdul Latif says yes, and it was positive. So I think this confirms chances of you getting a higher salary is very high, but not so many people try to negotiate. Going places saying yes, and it was positive. And yeah, you can see the figures almost adding up, even what we have. Yeah, not everybody gets, but I'm going to give you tips on why, how you can use that so that you can turn this. You can see, Elizabeth, you're saying yes, and it was negative. How do you turn it to be a positive one? But the first thing I want to say is, number one, anyone who's confident enough to try usually succeeds. It starts with the confidence. And I want to applaud each one of you who has said yes, you have tried. And those who have said no, I want to give you a challenge and tell you, why not take this next step? So here are the quick tips that I can give you. Number one, you need to know the salary before you start negotiation, uh, negotiating. You might think it is very simple, how is it a tip? But you might, you will be surprised how many people have been interviewing and I asked them, how much do you want? And they say more. And I'm like, how much is more? You know, I don't know. You understand? I don't understand. You need to be very clear. How much is it that you want? Is it 150? Is it 230? Is it 700? Whichever number it is, it is up to you. And it should not be just be thin, a uh, random figure from air. It should be a figure that represents your value. It should be a figure that is representing your worth. The second step or the second tip is once you know your value, make the company realize your value. Do not go there and negotiate based on, I've been here for the last five, 10 years, but what have you been doing to us the last 10, 15 years? Have you been of value or have you been an asset? Have you been an asset or a liability? Make them understand your worthwhile. What is your meaningful contribution? What is it that they stand to lose if you are no longer there? It is your responsibility to bring all and any evidence you have to support this. Don't assume that they know. And thirdly, you should have comparables to justify your higher salary. Do you know how much someone like you in your industry, in your field with experience like you, how much should they be paid on average? We have tools that are out there that can give us this data. And I want you to look at these two emails here. Yeah. This one is from a gentleman called Julius, yeah? And I'll try to maybe bring it a little bit closer and read it very quickly here. Julius says, greetings this evening. I am writing to appreciate your work. It is barely two months after I used your reviewed CV. I am glad that I've landed two jobs. I have taken the one I prefer. I am working towards completing my course, monetary evaluation, career point solutions. You're the best, yours sincerely, Julius. So this guy within two months, got two jobs had to pick one and let go the other now the other one here is from lawrence lawrence says dear daniel i'm happy to inform you that after you guys reviewed my resume i received three different calls from it for interviews within a span of 24 hours within a span of one week i attended all the interviews and fortunate enough i secured all the three jobs this was after a pregnant search for a job for one whole year i only had the difficult task choosing which one to go for but eventually i opted for one and politely and professionally declined the other two thanks a great deal and please convey my gratitude to your entire team so within one week he got three job offers had to pick one and let go the other so i have a question for you imagine you have two three four job offers you have to pick one and let go the other which criteria will you use to determine i'll take this job and I'll let go the other. Quick in the chat, in a word, word or two, like a phrase, let me know in the chat, what criteria will you use? I can see here there's a gentleman say, yes, only during interviews. Oh, so you have never tried to, uh, to negotiate while it is of the interview, yeah? Thank you very much. Mule, straight on it, better salary, company culture. Oh, Daniel, talk about one with salary. Uh, one is salary, yeah. That is the biggest nancy straight on it salary and i like the fact that you're very open and genuine i can tell you this research has been done over and over and this is what they have found out that the most important consideration in accepting a job offer 49 percent of people said it is about the salary compensation that is it 
I can see going places talking about the money. Now, I want just to say this with a lot of conviction again, it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. And I want you to say this, let's say together, just as we did the first time, yeah? Let me bring it closer so that I can see you. If you can say it, hold your heart with conviction and say it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. Very, very much possible. And I'm glad that you're here because you're going to learn the techniques and how to do it. Probably these are the questions that you're having at the back of your head. How do I network with the right people? I think this is a very important question. Do you know why? 85% of high paying jobs are gotten through networking. That is according to LinkedIn. And so when you network with the right people, they are going to give you the right information and you get these high paying jobs. What matters most? Is it experience or qualification? Okay. This way I told you, I'll tell you the truth, the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear. Yeah. Because when I see someone asking this question, this is someone who is running away from responsibility. They don't want to take their 100% responsibility of where they are because they are looking for a scapegoat. Because the moment I say it is experience which is needed, they say, yeah, I knew it. I don't have the experience. Where do you get, they expect me to get experience. And when I say it is qualification, they say, yeah, I need, I'm not getting these jobs because I don't have a degree or masters or whatever. It is neither of the two. The most important thing is what you have in your hands. If you have the experience, use that to your advantage. If you have the qualification, use it to advantage. Stop looking at what you don't have. You will always fall short if you think you need everything. The same thing to this question. Am I too young? Am I too old? I'm in a seminar. I finish. I, a lady comes and say, I think I'm not getting these jobs because I'm too old. The same breath, another gentleman comes and say, I think I'm not getting this job because I'm too young. Which is which? I can tell you this, if you think you are young, there are jobs that are entry-level jobs for young people just like you. And if you think you're old, I want to tell you there are jobs that are out there for people with experience. Call yourself old, I look at it as experience. Yeah, sometimes when I add this, it can really get out of shape that this is the truth I said I am going to tell you. Take a look at this email I got from Bill Shan. He was saying, recently, I landed my first consultancy with a few Kenya. After hitting your well laid out, youth friendly advice what does that mean he's way older than me did it mind that i am younger than him no did he get the results yes the name of the game is results age is just a number what are the qualities of a person who is worth six figures i thank god that you have asked that question i'm about to share with you there are actually six of them they are an acronym for the word badass yeah how do i get started oh Already some people are fired up. I'm going to show with you how you get started right away. So I want to ask you this question and I'll take a bit of time to actually wait for you to post that in the comment, yeah? If I show you exactly how to get your dream job, do you believe that you can get a job with NGOs, the UN and international organization? If you believe, say, yes, I believe in the chat. I want you to type that exactly, say, yes, I believe. Because if you don't believe, there is very little I can do from my side. It's really upon you to believe. I can do all the magic and all things that I do, but if you don't believe, it's very difficult. That is why I want to take time for you to type in and say, yes, I believe. Thank you, Christine. Yes, I believe. Agnes, yes, I believe. Mule, I can see Lydia saying, yes, I believe. I like this. Betty, you're saying, yes, I believe. Where is that? Betty, yes, yes I believe. Or oh, I can see uh, Michael. Tabitha, you're saying, yes, I believe. I'll take time. Give you time to mark one boy. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Nyawera, thank you. Felix saying a big yes. Alan Yotea saying yes, I believe. Evelyn saying yes, I believe. Thank you very much. And uh, oh, and my guy, thank you. By the way, I can take time here because it starts with you believing. If you don't believe, going places, I believe. Christine, thank you very much. Raymond, I can see you say you believe. Uh, Boniface. Okay, they're coming in more and more. Samuel Otieno, thank you very much. You believe. I like this. Christine, we, uh, Winnie, I believe. But the, the thing is, I'm giving you time for you to type it out because this is the first step in manifestation. You say you believe, you're confessing that is what you believe, and then combined with the skills and the insights that I've learned, I teach you, you can see what is going to happen. And that's why I want you to say I believe. So here's the thing, yeah? But I can see we are still um, in good time, but I want you to do this, yeah? 
Is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes to share with you about this program com called I'm a Badass Pro? I define my own destiny and how this program is going to help you to get to that job with the UN, to that get that job with the NGOs. If so, just say permission granted. By the way, I'm asking for your permission. Is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes, share with you about this program called the Badass Pro? I define my own destiny. And after that, I'll be able to answer all your questions. Oh, I can see, yes, I believe they're still coming in. Winnie, Alex, you're saying super, you super believe. Lillian, you're there saying, I believe. Ah, uh, this is beautiful. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. I can see the permission coming in. Agnes, you're saying permission granted. Christine, permission. Oh, where is this one? They are coming in very quickly. Prince, you're saying, yes, please share with this. It's okay. Permission granted. Permission granted. That is GB. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we are permission granted. Oh, okay. Thank you. I don't want to take much time. I've already asked for 10 minutes. Let me go straight to it and then I can be able to answer any questions that you might be having. Now, the Badass Pro is an acronym, and I'm very happy to see uh, sit here and say, yes, I am a Badass Pro. Here is what happens. Badass is an acronym, Pro stands for professional. And a Badass Pro is an individual who is bold, audacious, courageous. They will do what needs to be done to finish the job. That is a bold person. An individual who is authentic, they are true to themselves, they are true to their potential, they know what they are capable of. An individual who is driven, who has that inner motivation that will push them to get there, they will do what needs to be done. They have that inner motivation in them, intrinsic motivation. They don't need to be supervised. That is a different individual. An individual who is aggressive. In this day and age, in this world, you need to go and grab what you believe is yours, not wait for it to be served to you or live alone on a silver platter. Not only being aggressive, but also being assertive. You're clear on what is it that you want. And the other thing is an individual who is skilled. Remember that question. What matters most? Is it experience or is it qualification? Yeah. And the thing is, if you go with experience or qualification, none of that is as important as being skilled. You can get your skills from your experience. You can get your skills from qualification. But if you're not skilled, the biggest divide between those who are successful in their career and those who are not, it is the skills gap. And that is what actually I'm going to give you some resources that will get you to that level to get this job with the NGOs. It is the skills that you need. And I'll talk more about that. And the other thing is being self-assured, being confident of yourself. You know what you're capable of. That is a badass pro. Now, if you join today the Badass Pro program, this is our motto. This is our mantra. We say, I am a Badass Pro. I define my own destiny. I create my own luck. I am confident, but not cocky. Silent, but uh, I am quiet, but not silent. Competitive and aggressive. I take 100% responsibility. I never give up. That is a Badass Pro. And that is what it stands for. Now, what is this Badass Pro? This is a six weeks coaching program. If you join it today, if you join today, you'll be able to get a six weeks coaching program. The value is about a hundred thousand in value, not the cost, but that is the value you're going to get. The six weeks, we will coach you on these six things. Week number one, we'll discuss how do you get started and become unstoppable? How do we get you on motion and you get the momentum such that nothing can stop you? Week number two, we will get to discuss with you getting to know your world. Like you should know how much should you be paid right now? Because once we identify the baseline, we can be able to build up on the next level. Number two, number week number three, we look at building confidence and competence because this is what really matters. And they go hand in hand. The more competent you are, the more confidence you have. The more confidence you have, the more competent you become. I had this quote by Marcus Garvey that in this race of life without confidence, you're twice defeated. Week number four, we discuss how do you master communication, influence, and networking. Because this is this, these are the skills that will take you to the next level. Week number five, we give you the tools that you need to track and evaluate your progress. It is so sad when I see people five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road, and they have picked their own career direction. I give you the tools to track and evaluate your progress. At week number six, we learn. I coach you on how do you negotiate a six-week salary based on your own skills 
and experience at your own level. This is one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching. Now, on top of the six weeks coaching, if you decide to join the program, you'll also get one of our professional certification. So you get the Paras Pro six weeks coaching and one of our professional certification. We have these four main certifications, and these are the certifications that really help you to get to the next level. Remember, we talked about being a skilled individual to get a job with the UN NGOs. They are looking for people with skills in project management, with skills in project monitoring and evaluation. And that is why we are offering you this courses by the way this is the whole secret of this whole session if you really want to know how to get these jobs get jobs with un get these skills project management monitor evaluation strategic management and leadership fundraising and resource mobilization so you can pick one of these courses that we are offering to you for free now the next thing is we will also offer you professional cv writing on top of the six weeks of coaching on top of the one of the certification will also offer you professional CV writing. You might be asking, what is this professional CV writing? Most of us have just a fact sheet in, with the name of a CV. It's a documentation of where you went to school, where you have worked, a list of your responsibilities, and your referees. But on the other hand, a professional CV, this is a document that you use to market yourself. Think about any organization that have a product or service they want to sell, they will advertise it on radio, billboards, TV, newspaper, brochures, you name them. But you and me don't have the luxury of having a billboard about ourselves. So what we use, a professional CV, and we need to be very clear, what is it that we are selling? We're selling our skills, our capabilities, our qualifications, and our experience to the employer. And how you put that across in that document is very important. According to a very famous study, it is said that a hiring manager will take about six seconds to decide if they're going to read your CV or not. Does your CV pass the six second test? Do they actually go beyond the six second to read your CV? Assume you are the hiring manager. This is a CV. This is one of the most common layout I've seen, yeah? For a gentleman called Daniel Mutuku, Kenyan, married, date of birth, I can see. Six seconds or less, ask yourself, what can this person do? Because that's the question the hiring manager is asking. As a matter of fact, we can't deduce anything from this kind of information. We give them benefit of doubt. Let's read their career objectives. Now, I have picked several career objectives from several CVs and probably even from your own CV. Let me know, does the objective in your CV resemble the ones that I'm about to show you in tone, in style, or even word for word? Yeah, I see this very often. I am seeking employment with a company where I can grow professionally and personally. What can this person do? Again, this statement does not answer that question. As a matter of fact, this statement here is very selfish. You're telling the employer what you want to gain from them rather than what you are bringing on board. Another one I see, I seek challenging opportunities where I can fully use my skills for the success of the organization. Again, good wording, but still saying nothing doesn't seem to be making sense. I want to succeed in a stimulus and challenging environment that will provide me with advancement and uh, opportunities. Good wording, still saying nothing. I want to excel in this field with hard work, perseverance, and dedication. As a matter of fact, all these statements here are very selfish. I want, I seek, I want. If you have the career objective in your CV, go get rid of it. That section is not helping you to get a job in any way. Are we clear? Moving on, you will be able to get professional uh, six weeks coaching, professional CV writing, professional certification, and we are adding sample cover letters. Now, you might be asking yourself, what are these sample cover letters? Because every job you're applying, you will need a cover letter for it. And these cover letters, sample cover letters, are meant to help you write your own cover letter in a very professional way. Now, look at this. Uh, job title here. I picked a random job position. This is an accountant. If you're to work in this organization as an accountant, these will be some of the responsibilities that you'll be doing. Number one, you will be reviewing and establishing proper accounting system. Number two, supporting budget and focusing activity. And number three, liaising with internal and external auditors. So if your job, you, uh, sorry, if you're sure you can be able to do this kind of job, 
then somewhere in your cover letter, you should have a statement that reads like this. I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting systems. In my previous employment at ABC, I was involved in liaising with internal and external auditors. And you can see just from this, when someone reads this statement, they're like, yeah, this is the person we are looking for. They're coming to do exactly what we want them to do. On top of the six weeks coaching, you're getting a professional certification, you're getting professional CV writing, sample cover letters, we now come into the other big thing, which is LinkedIn profile guide. In this day and age, you cannot afford not to have your LinkedIn profile optimized. And what do I mean by this? It's because hiring managers, recruiters are actually spending more time on LinkedIn trying to vet and get candidates. And I like your CV, which is in your flash disk or in the cloud or in your computer or email, a LinkedIn profile is a living CV. It is working for you even when you are asleep. Look at this email I got from Shisa Link. He told me, hey, Daniel, I would like to thank you for your LinkedIn profile guide service. After your guidance on how to make my LinkedIn account look more professional, I have now been approached by a potential employer and I am due for an interview on Wednesday next week. And you're like, yeah, he wasn't looking for the job. The job was looking for him. Needless to say, he got that job. Here's another uh, post I got from Rosaline. I had nothing to do with this, but I asked for her permission. She said, go ahead, use it. She said, I posted my very first LinkedIn post to market myself for a job. I was not really sure whether I would eventually have a positive outcome from this, but I eventually, uh, but I kept my head up high, got called for interviews almost every day last week and this yielded me a job. Yes, guys, I have a job now. That is the power of LinkedIn. You cannot afford not to have an prof uh, optimized profile. So on top of the six weeks coaching, you're getting professional certification, you're getting professional CV writing, cover letter, LinkedIn profile guide, and on top of it, interview coaching. You can see the value so far has built it up to about 210. This is not the cost, this is the value that you're going to get. I can tell you when you're going for an interview, the most important thing to prepare is thinking through how to answer questions in an interview. 99.99% of the interview you go, the first question you will be asked will be, tell us about yourself. And how you answer that question will set the pace for the rest of the interview. You also need to think about how do I answer? How much should I, or how much should we pay you? That is the biggest question in everybody's mind when they are going for an interview. Um, how much should, uh, why should we hire you? What makes you the best candidate? What are your strengths, your weaknesses? We'll coach you through all that. Now, the total value, the total package you get, if you join the Badass Pro program today, is the six weeks of coaching, professional certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. And so, the question to you is, are you ready to be a Badass Pro? If you're ready to be a Badass Pro, drop in the chat and say, yes, I'm ready. I think I've explained to you who is the Badass Pro. That is the bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured individual. So if you're there, you have clear understanding, what is the, are you ready to be a Badass Pro? Let me know in the chat. I can see Bridget uh, Karate. You say, Badass Pro, high five. Thank you, thank you. Uh, are you ready? I can see Paul saying, yes, I'm ready. Yes, please. I can see Christine, you say, yes, I'm ready to be a Paras Pro. The way you're ready to be a Paras Pro. Oh, yes, I, I like this. I like this. Who else here? Are you ready to become a Paras Pro? Are you ready to be a Paras Pro? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. Oh, why are they not showing? I can see someone saying, yes, I'm ready. Betty, you're ready. Uh, that is Mary and Jerry. Betty, you're ready. If you're ready, keep on dro dropping that in the chat saying, you're ready to be a Paris Pro. So I had two choices, yeah? The first choice, when I was trying to think how much should I charge for this program, was to go cheap and so that I can get as many people as possible, yeah? As you can see, all these people saying, yes, I'm ready, yes, I'm ready, yes, I'm ready, yeah? I can see, yeah. And the other option I had was to, to ask for a slightly higher investment and dedicate more time and effort to guarantee your success. So I was balancing, do I need more people? Do I need 
uh, to guarantee people their success, I said, let me go with the second option. And tonight I'm going to ask you for a slightly higher investment in yourself. But this will mean I will dedicate more time and effort to guarantee your success. And that is what I am planning to do. So it's only to going to cost you 24999 to join the Bada School program, get the six weeks of coaching, professional certification, CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. And you can pay that in three monthly installments of 9999 if you're international, you can just pay 249 US dollars or pay in three monthly installments of $99. Wait a minute. Before you say anything, I want to say this. Absolutely no excuse not for you to take action because there's a 100% money back guarantee. If you join this program and you don't get exactly what I've said you will get in the next 30 days, you start day. 30 days, nothing based on what I've shared with you. Let me know. No question asked. We will refund your money back. Is that okay? So I had the two choices. Now you have two choices to make. The first choice is to do nothing. I do not take this leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free. And the second option you have is to be open-minded. Take up this small investment in yourself and give it a shot. Between the two which one is going to be easier for you. I want to say this, there are two types of people and you maybe fall in one of these categories. Those who get an opportunity to change their lives, they can agree with everything that I've shared with you today, but see, don't take any action. They can see actually how it's applicable, but still do nothing about it. And there are those people who take action and define their own future. Which one is it going to be for you? Here's your opportunity. Which type are you? Those ones who do nothing or those who take the action and define their own future? If you want to get in touch with me, my email is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke and uh, you want to know more about the Badass Pro program, just go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash Badass. But before I go, quick one here, yeah? I want to tell you this. Six weeks of coaching, I want to give you an opportunity to get all the four certifications. Six weeks of coaching and four certifications if you take action right now before it is 9 p.m. We still have some time. Before it's 9 p.m., make that first installment and you are able to get all the four courses. So you join the Badass Pro program and I also gift you all these four certifications if you pay tonight, right now, when we are here live. On top of that, I will also give you some t-shirt and a notebook. But I just need to get this. This is a t-shirt. Uh, let me try to zoom it a little bit in here. You get yourself a notebook written, I am a badass pro. And you also get yourself a t-shirt. Yes, I do have them here. You get yourself a t-shirt written, I am a badass pro. On an evening like this, these are people who decided to take action and they saw their life changing they join the badass pro and they can attest to you this is uh winnie in this uh is it helen winnie in kitui helen in bungoma this is Okay, sorry about that. I think I lost my connection. I don't know at what point uh, I lost the connection. But anyway, I'm telling you this is your opportunity to make that first uh, deposit of 9,999. 
you'll get all the six weeks of coaching and also all the four certification. If you're international, you can make payment through the, just follow this prompt, go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash baras, you can pay through your card and you will be together with us. The first deposit of 99 US dollars, six weeks of coaching for certification, all of them combined for you. I learned this, that the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. And this is from Warren Buffett, one of the richest person on earth. And the reason why he says this is because when you invest in yourself, it is said for every shilling, for every dollar you invest in yourself, it will bring about 30 shillings or $30 in return over time. That is a 3,000% return on investment. Nowhere else you will get such kind of invest return on investment. Real estate, not very close. Even stock market, not close to that. And then I learned this from Brian Tracy, and he calls it the 10-10 rule. We have been brought up in a society where we take 10% of our income and tithe it. We use it to help other people. I put it to you. Why not take another 10% and tithe it to yourself? Because when you use this fund to finance your personal development, this is where you'll get the highest return on investment. And this is your opportunity for you to invest in yourself. Take that first step of faith. Lipa 9 Pesa, buy goods and services. The till number is 715732. Deposit the 9,999 while we are here live and you'll get the six weeks of coaching and all the four certification if you pay thereafter if you pay thereafter like tomorrow saturday sunday the course is actually starting the coaching is starting on monday you'll be able to get one of the certification but this is for the people who want to take action right now so you can pay right away and take advantage of this if you're international you just need to pay the first deposit of 99 us dollars now take a look at this these are two emails that i got from uh, ladies who joined this program and they saw tremendous results. Now, let me pull it closer and read it for you. This is Lucy saying, Dear Daniel, I cannot be grateful enough for the Bada Sport training that came with a professionally made CV and sample cover letters. In a span of two months, I have managed to get four interviews with very reputable international NGOs such as Ilri, One Acre, among others with my new CV and cover letter samples that I customized to suit various jobs. I am now confident to apply for jobs in the UN agencies. And honestly, I am hopeful and confident that that is my next employer. For quite a while, I hadn't been receiving interview invitations. It is no longer the case anymore. Thanks a lot and God bless you for the good work and always being ready to help. That is the kind of value that you get. That is one of the people who have gone through this program and they have seen the value that comes with it. Here's another one, Celestine saying, Dear Daniel, thanks. Uh, trust this mail finds you well. I'm back to say a very big thank you after I did the Butter School program. With your guidance, I have applied for a job where everyone was discouraging me that that job is demanding. Are you sure I, you will be shortlisted, etc.? But the confidence I had was out of this world. I went ahead and applied. We were 30. The second interview, we were 10. And I matched the best. And finally got the job with a six-figure salary. To me, it is a blessing. And I would recommend it. I would recommend the Badass program. Thank you once more. And be blessed, apparently. This is your opportunity. Here's another one, by the way. This came in the other uh, day, and Naomi is saying, I am glad about our paths crossing. This was truly fortunate event that I needed to secure a long-awaited position. Your coaching was practical and personal. You worked with me through the entire process of interviews, and I am glad that I keenly listened to you because I am now reporting to a global role as of March Thank you, Daniel, and I hope you will enable many more professions to realize their goals that may be seemingly insurmountable. Asante sana and be abundantly blessed. Kind regards, 
Naomi. You can see the kind of results. And I want you to be the next person sending me such an email. And this is your opportunity for you to take that advantage. Make that first deposit, 9,999. The till number is 715732. Get the six weeks of coaching, all the four certification, professional civil rights, sample cover letter, you name them, all of them will be included. The other thing I want to mention, I learned this from Jim Rohn, and this is what Jim Rohn says. Do not evaluate something based on how much it costs. Evaluate something based on how much it is worth. If you're there saying this program is very expensive, then you're just thinking about the cost. But how much is it worth? You staying in that job that you don't like, you never realizing your full potential. I want you to think about that. Is it worth it staying there? Or you can be able to make this investment in yourself and realize your dream. I know you guys there, you have big goals, right? I have a challenge for you. Let the size of your goal be equal to the size of investment that you use to invest in yourself. This is your chance to invest in yourself. If you're here in Kenya, go to buy goods and services, till number 715732. Go ahead and make that deposit, 9,900. But if you make payment, a bit told someone has done that, yeah? Okay, two people. But then if you make the payment, just let me know in the chat, say, yes, I've made the payment, yeah? So that I can recognize you. And you get all the four certification. If you pay tonight while we are here live, you get all the four certification. If you pay thereafter, you will only get one of the certification of your choice. This is the last thing I want to say as we finish up, yeah? You will never be 100% ready when an opportunity strikes, right? So what do you do? Just do it. If you're waiting, you say, oh, I wish I knew this last week. I wish I knew this next uh, next week or something happens. Oh, before I bought this or that. You'll never be 100% ready. So just do it right now. Yeah. And if you're there and you're feeling a bit of fear in yourself, I want to tell you this. Your largest fear carries your greatest growth. You know why? Because when you feel the fear, it is the way of your body telling you that you're about to do something that is outside your comfort zone. You're not used to doing something like this. And we know very well that growth only takes place in the outside the comfort zone. This is how it works. Your fear zone, your comfort zone, you're feeling safe, you're feeling in control, low risk, low reward. But on the flip side here, I present to you the opportunity like this, and it pushes you to the fear zone. And when you're on the fear zone, you're experiencing low self-esteem. You are looking for excuses. You are saying, oh, this is too expensive. I knew I did this yesterday. All sorts of ex uh, excuses. Oh, I need to talk to my parents. I need to talk with my husband. I need to talk to all these excuses. Yeah. And the other thing is you start being affected by other people opinion what will people say that i came saw this guy online and i joined this i paid all that kind of a thing right but then do you stay in that fear zone do you retreat back to your comfort zone or do you push yourself forward to the learning zone where you face new challenges you solve more problems you acquire new skills you extend your comfort zone and if you go that way that is the only way you can be able to push yourself to the growth zone where you find your purpose, you live your dream, you set new goals, you conquer your objectives. So the challenge to you is, if you're feeling the fear right now, it is okay, but will you retreat back or will you push forward to your learning zone? It is up to you. It is up to you to make that decision. But that is how your certificate will look, showing that you are a project manager, you have been certified, and your name is right there. I can pick uh, somebody. I don't know who has paid off. Um, let me just say, I can see Kathy, your name, uh, just assuming your name is there. Kathy has been formally evaluated and assessed for demonstrated knowledge and skills to monitor and evaluate projects, use result-based management, and has been awarded a certificate in monitoring and evaluation. Wouldn't that be great? So when we started, I asked you these two questions. Will you let me be your coach? You said yes. I asked you, would you let me tell you the truth, the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear? You said yes. Did I do a good job doing that? By the way, that is what I want to know from you. Did I do a good job? If so, let me know in the chat, yeah? 
I can also see um, Nancy there saying, already started the journey. Thank you very much. I 